Uh, today I'm having a chat to Vincent Matola and I am so grateful that you made time for us in your schedule. It has been a long time since we've spoken, as you say, and I'm really, really glad that we're chatting and I'm really, really glad that um, uh, I'm, I'm able to talk to you on behalf of the students as opposed to you normally teaching the students directly. So this is a <laughs> bit of a behind the scenes of what's yeah. going on with you instead yeah. of you talking directly to the students. So thank you so much for your time this afternoon. I really appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, and how are you doing? I am doing very well. I took my glasses off because I could see the reflection in the screen. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, I thought, no, that's quite disturbing. So I took them off. Okay. Uh, I'm doing okay. Good. Um, lockdown has been good mm -hmm. in a sense that I don't have to spend time in traffic. Yes. Um, that's true. So for me, and as we can imagine, I live in Pretoria yeah. and most of my clients and where I work, it's in Johannesburg. Yeah. 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 And um, I'm, I'm appreciative of that. I'm appreciative that as I speak to you now, you know, I can dress like this, I can yes. absolutely. Not worry about it. I know. <laughs> that was fantastic. Uh, and I'm only wearing a jacket today because it's cold. Oh, right. It's, it's not to be like... Uh, no, 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 no. It's because <laughs> I am cold and I love this jacket. Okay. And you can oh, tell it's So yeah. it's been really good. It's, uh, it's been a transition. And I mm -hmm. say to someone as well, as well with my family, I have two boys with me as well, my brother staying with me, is that um, in the first week, um, of the lockdown, you know, you didn't realize there is a lockdown and what it means yeah. because everything really closed except, yeah. you know, groceries yeah. and all. Yeah. And then we tra we're transitioning, you know, yeah. trying to find our way yeah. and try to find a routine. On the third day, you're still not really realizing the yeah. day. You know? yeah. so after two weeks or so, you sort of find a momentum. The kids yeah. were back now on, uh, to school. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, so I could do work. So there was a sort of a structure that we had to follow. Yeah. So there was a lot of adjustments that we had to Yeah. Do. You and, and the rest of the world, everyone yeah. is kind of like, I think it sort of starts off a little bit like, oh, I can work from home. This is amazing. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I have kids. This is distracting. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yes. Can't, can't do yes. this. You or, can't. You can't. Yeah. Alrighty. So um, a couple of questions that I have for you today, a little bit based on you and a little bit based on our students. So okay. I think the first question, so many students are so used to you teaching and um, used to hearing you lecture, but you know, like let's hear a little bit about your story, some of your qualification story and where, you know, your journey, like, why did you get into education? <laughs> why did you start lecturing? And then why yeah. did you stop lecturing? Because you're, you're not lecturing anymore. So let's hear a little bit more about you and your story. Uh, so I think I've had a colorful journey and uh, I'm interested into how colorful it's going to be in the future. Oh, yes, yeah. I believe that it's still going to be. So let's start speaking about this color okay. that my journey has been. So I, I grew up in a village called Maboloka. It's in the northwest province. Okay. I always say to people, northwest, that's where you find Tswana speaking people. But I grew <laughs> up in this small village where you yeah. find southern Soto speaking people. Okay. Yep. So um, I was raised by a loving family and my family had um, businesses in the village. Okay. My grandfather owned a supermarket and my aunt owned a tavern, right? Mm -hmm. And I worked in all those businesses. Okay. Helping out, you know, right, right. either after school mm -hmm. or so, uh, you know, there's lots of responsibility mm -hmm. expected out of anyone, right? As I was doing that, then an uncle of mine um, said to me, would I consider a career in accountancy? Yeah. I was fascinated by marketing. Um, oh, there really? was a channel. Yeah, there yeah. was a channel on TV when I was in high school. Well, it was a program. It was called The Power of Persuasion. Okay. It used to cover adverts around the world. And I was just fascinated by people who create ads. And that's what I wanted to do. 
And I was told about what I consider career in accountancy. I was doing pretty okay. Well, well, like she I'm being modest here and it doesn't suit me. So I was doing extremely well in accountancy. I was, I tell you, Yvonne. And then, <laughs> and then I thought, mm, why not? Um, fast forward, passed my metric, went to the University of Pretoria. And then in 2004, I didn't have funding to do my mm-hmm. um, honors. Okay. And then I had about the Tutuka program, okay. right? which was affiliated with one of the schools and you had to do it via distance learning. At mm. the time, they were just only um, uh, sponsoring honor students. Okay. And I got onto it and I did then my CTA living in Cape Town from Pretoria uh-huh. through University of KwaZulu-Natal. <laughs> wow. Okay. I love how I told you. Oh, wow. And... Um, then afterwards, I joined KPMG. That's where I did my article. Mm. I gained quite an extensive experience um, there, particularly in the mining industry, because those were my clientele. Okay. I had opportunities of traveling outside of the province and also outside of the country. Mm. My first travel out of the country was to Mali. Oh, okay. <laughs> <On an audit>. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so, um, you would fly from here to Nairobi, from Nairobi, then to Bamako, and then from Bamako, there was a village called Sadiola. We had to catch a chartered, pl- a chartered plane uh, to do that. It was amazing. That's you such an awesome experience. Gold. I'd like yeah. there to find gold. You should see when a gold had to be transported yeah. from there to come for refinery in South Africa, Johannesburg. The whole military with guards. <laughs> I tell you. Would be out. Really? Would absolutely be out. And there we are, and you could see the military. And it's going on, and government representatives are there, because government also has shares in the right. mining sector. Okay. What not? So that is colorful as it is. That's and I, I remember at that time, uh, towards the end of my articles, is that um, I was repeating bot two. I had failed okay. bot two the previous year. So now as a repeat candidate, mm, I'm not sure if I want to stay with the firm. I'm awaiting my results. The firm is giving me an offer to stay on. Okay. However, Unisa also had approached me to come lecture. But how during did they find art- you? Yeah. How did during they find the articles, Yeah. So during my articles, I was a marker at CTA for UNISA. Okay. And the reason I became a marker is that one of my lecturers from University of Pretoria was now a lecturer at the University of, oh. of, of at UNISA yeah. and asked me if I would like to mark. So, okay, great, why not? Yeah, and also they were trying to address transformation issues oh, because right. then they did not have black lecturers and not enough of black CA markers. And I was not even a CA then, I was still in the transition yeah. to become yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. So I started marking. You need which, subject, which, which subject did you mark? Auditing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how, that's because I was going to ask, like, how did you choose auditing? End up lecturing. Yeah, it so, does. <laughs> Yvonne, did you choose auditing? <laughs> no, it chose me. Yeah, exactly. We <laughs> all say me. that, and I believe it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Unisa then made a proposal, and they had said, you know, they're looking for markers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and at the time, I thought, no, how much do lectures get paid? I actually asked. Mm, yeah, of course, yeah. And then she said, and I was not convinced with the amount. And then she told me about the flexibility that I would get right. working for the university, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, I'm not sold. I need the money. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And this conversation started to what's I mean, early in my third year. Mm. Then now... I'm at the time where I don't know if I really want to remain with an audit firm yeah. and still audit. Mm. Nothing against the firm or the job itself. I'm not convinced. I'm on the verge of becoming a CA and I'm thinking it could be much more yeah. than just this. Just this and yeah. I thought to clear my head, Unisa said, I'll have a flexible job <laughs> that doesn't require much. So I thought, hmm, so let we me take it again. In. Yeah. yeah. But I can't afford to take it off because I'm, Trust fund, nothing, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I thought I would need money. So I would get money from UNISA, the money I wasn't impressed. 
right? But I'll have time to think yeah. about it, right? Yeah. And yeah. remember, I'm coming on a contract, but not. Yeah. I phoned them, they called me, interviewed me. While I was doing that, the accounting department somehow found out that I was also on the market. They also approached me. I actually wanted to go to accounting. But Professor did. Sadler in yeah. the Department of Auditing at the time, she was the chair, convinced me to go to auditing. Oh, and I ended up choosing auditing. And the university then went on to advertise the position for a permanent post. And they asked that I apply. I said, no, I'm not going to apply because I'm leaving at the end of the year. <laughs> you know, where I'm going, I don't know, but I know I'm going to leave. I'm that was part of my yeah. plan. Yeah. And I know I'll apply anyway and do it. Right. And then I applied. Um, and after I applied, I uh, went for interviews and I got the job. And I'm not comfortable to accept the job. <laughs> and then, as, you know, everything else would have it is that I thought, to be honest, number one, I was not happy with the pay. I wasn't, and it's no secret. Yeah. And I did communicate my dissatisfaction with it. And if I must say what not, mm. and um, you always get what you want. And in this instance, I did. Okay. And I was very comfortable, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to have a job that I love and everything. Because I had grown into it, it mm. exceeded my expectation of it. Okay. And I remember getting into it and people saying, isn't it a career limiting move? Yeah. You're too young. Yeah. Shouldn't you go into it and shouldn't you do something else and you'll yeah. come back? And yeah. I remember not even having a clear idea of it, but what I remember and what spoke to me is that why do I think for me to be in academia, to give the best of me, I must be old first. <laughs> I believe right now mm -hmm. I yeah. could give something. There would yeah. be people who could relate to me and Absolutely. identify and be accessible in that Absolutely. manner. Absolutely. Instead of, you know, Yvonne, you have the lecturer, you're there, and then there's the students. So, you know, you could match that and close that gap and tell stories that they can identify yeah. with. Yeah. And I think because of that, that's why I remained in lecturing. Mm. And uh, my one year uh, into lecturing ended up being over seven years. <laughs> That's a great one-year plan, yeah. Mm. <laughs> in some planets, isn't it that the, the sun revolves longer? Yes, so it takes longer. In another planet, my seven years could have been just a year. No, it was, you did, <laughs> yeah. it was, it's one year in dog years. Mm. <laughs> yes, 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 it is. You're right, you're right. There. Okay, there. so you weren't, it wasn't, I mean, you weren't drawn to academics out of like a deep, seated desire to, I want to be a teacher. Okay, so fine, fine. But you, you fell in love with teaching as you got, as you got into it, like you. You know, and I'll, I'm glad you raised that as well. If I look at my background and looking at it back as well, is that even at high school, I was smart. So mm. teachers would ask me to go teach other students. Right. And I enjoyed that. And I did that. Even at our home, where we had a tavern and, <laughs> and a supermarket. I'll have friends of mine at school who are struggling with certain concepts coming to my house so I can teach them. Yeah. So innate, I believe it, it had been there. It's been a and I, I probably didn't think of it as yeah. a career and yeah. actually turned out. So it's funny how everything just comes together yeah. you know yeah. so that's that's what happened okay so okay so you you lectured auto saying which i'm sure you know you may have been somewhat resistant about it but i'm sure there are very mm. many people out there who are very glad that you did do that <laughs> so, i hope so <laughs> you. um but now you're not lecturing anymore <clears throat> so the next chapter what's the next color yeah <laughs> So the next color, I was very deliberate about it and quite strategic and intentional about it, right? And also it was the whole idea that, you know, I am not marketable. If I must market, I must look for another job in academia at another institution. And I, I just didn't believe in that. I really mm. didn't. And I thought, you know, there could be other opportunities that may arise and all of that. I really believe that. Um, Susan Saluba Goboto, at the time as they were known, mm. uh, had approached me a year before and asked me if I could join them. And I said, actually, I'm going on sabbatical and um, I can't, you know. And they were quite persistent as well. The following year, while I was on sabbatical, excuse me, they contacted me 
and asked me again. And it just so happened during that time and being on sabbatical, um, I was supposed to be reading for my master's then. Oh, okay. Is that there's lots of, you spend lots of time alone. So mm. I wasn't really lecturing in that year yeah. as well. Right? Yeah. And then I started reflecting and thinking strategically about my career mm. and my next move, mm. where I want to go, blah, blah. And this opportunity then came. And I thought instead of dismissing them, let me go and listen to them. And I yeah. did exactly that. Yeah. And um, I agreed to come in and I came into the organization as a senior manager. And as you can imagine, as much as I have taught auditing, mm. you know, and that helped in terms of technical expertise, Absolutely. right? Yeah. There is quite a transition yes. from academia yes. and reality, you know? And yeah. uh, I had to upskill myself quite yeah. quickly, but yeah. it's not an upskilling that you do by reading books, no, no, right? No, 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 no. Because that academic, that technical yeah. knowledge is there. It's yeah. by being on clients and yeah. seeing real life issues. Yeah. And, and that takes time. That's the truth of the matter. So, you know? yeah. I'm now with SNG Grant Thornton for almost five years. And I can tell you it's been a journey, an exciting journey at it. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I, I love the culture of the fam. I fitted in with it quite nicely into it. And then two years later, after having proven myself, I was then promoted to a director and right. now came to a partner. And yeah. all of that, I can tell you, it's uh, through learning on the job yes. as well. Yes. That learning in itself doesn't end. No, However, it never does. Is that, that I would not be in that position if mm. I was not technically strong. Yes. Because that's a first requirement mm. for any CA in whatever role is that one thing that you have to get right is you have to be technically smart. Mm. How do we assess that currently? It's you passing your tests, yeah. your exams, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Once yeah. you have that, then we can move on and build on the job. Yeah. I'm, glad that you, I'm glad that you mentioned that because one of the questions that I wanted to ask kind of leads into that, you know, the technical versus practical skills, uh, you know, on the job stuff, et cetera. So one of the questions that I get all the time from students, and obviously in some cases, you know, like you don't necessarily have the choice, so that's, that's fine. But based on your experience, based on, you know, you, how many thousands of students you've dealt with in situations, et cetera. So a student says, do I start my articles while I'm studying? At the beginning of my studies, maybe the beginning of my degree, middle of my degree, maybe third year, maybe even CTA. Uh, do I start my articles while I'm studying? Or do I wait until I am finished studying to start my articles? And there's pros and cons to both. Mm -hmm. The pro generally for studying and working at the same time or doing articles at the same time is that your studying is easier. You know, you'll pass the exams easier because you're working with the stuff, especially mm -hmm. with auditing. <clears throat> you know, you're mm -hmm. working with it on a daily basis. So therefore you're more likely to pass. In my experience, it's not actually true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> actually, well, your experience and mine. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm not the only one. I'm so glad. Like, yes. no, yes. it's actually, anyway. Mm. Um, so yeah. what is your, what's your take or, or, you know, if, if not necessarily ad advice, like what would you mm. tell people they should consider if they're, if they're weighing up their options? Yeah. And Yvonne, you're right to say some people don't have a choice in the matter. Yes. Yes. Right? Yeah. So it's all circumstance and whatnot. Yeah. So I'll speak about it as well on a general scale stuff to and think about can think yeah. exactly what yeah. they can consider and what not if you have an opportunity to study full-time go for it right so yeah. for me that's it it's the volume to go through cta material yeah, yeah. and work at the same time so yeah. yeah and i suppose having worked at unisa and dealing with students who were working and all of that yeah i've seen that and you can yeah. look at Unisa's pass rates at CTA, if yeah. they are not the lowest in the country, I don't know, but they probably are. Yeah, and so. it's attributed to their high numbers and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah. all of that is not just numbers by themselves. Mm. There's something interesting about data to say, but also what makes up this number. Yeah. And you'd find in that high number is that you have students who are working yeah, for organizations like ours yeah. as well, right? And what happens when people work and what I've seen is that there are busy period, like right now, we are in a busy period. Yeah. Ideally, I would not be home 
and I made this time to be with you during this time because I'm taking a break this time, yeah. right? And then we work. <laughs> <laughs> um, to meet the deadline, of course. Yeah. You, yeah. You, I mean, you have to put in time. Yeah. You have to deliver. Yeah. Uh, you have to, all of that, you know, you have to, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's work that you have to do. So can you imagine um, working and then again having to study? Yeah. And I'm actually enrolled with uh, um, GIPS for a um, short program okay. for them. And I'm yeah. doing that now. I can see it as a challenge, Stop, but man. you can imagine. It's, it's a little bit different in a business school yeah. than it is studying your CTA, CTA yeah. or anything. It's different animal. It's, <laughs> the volume and the quality and the content you have to go through. Absolutely. And also it's, it's technical matters. Yeah. Right now, what I'm studying is something related to my work. And yeah. Whatnot, yeah. To reference to. Yeah. Right. You're not so, struggling through the stuff. Yeah. And like, what is this? Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 So there are people who are able to make it with sacrifices yeah. and having yeah. to be disciplined, which you would need that discipline yeah. anyway. But Whether you are studying full time or exactly, exactly. This is because I studied, um, I studied my CTA part time. I mean, I, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. I did my degree and my CTA is through UNISA. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I was one of those. <laughs> yeah. I was with them. Yeah. But I, um, I only started my articles after I passed CTA. So I worked as a bookkeeper throughout, mm -hmm. you know, throughout my, um, throughout my studies and mm. it takes so much longer. So my undergrad, I never failed anything, but you can't yeah. take the six and six modules in undergrad <laughs> when you're working full time. So I took, you know, I would have to take three and three. So my five year, my three year degree became a five year degree and I, you know, yeah. I passed everything first time. Um, CTA, I managed to pass first time. I think my handwriting is good. Congratulations. Sure well. <laughs> it does help. It does help to have a good yeah, handwriting. I know. Um, so, uh, and, you know, and I, always, I say to students, like, you do not understand how work fit you have to be in order to, you know, when you go to work, you use your brain. You know, it's not as though uh, you sit at your desk, like, you know, on you using your brain, which is mental energy all day long. And then you come home, you quickly eat something and then you have to sit mm. down and study or, you know, go to night classes or do online classes or whatever. But mm. then, you know, so I kind of worked for all those years. I, I kind of worked like, you know, it's a, I had three, eight hour shifts in a day, like mm -hmm. sleep and eat, work and study. You know, and then <laughs> that was like, you know, that was yeah. like 11 years of mm. my life. <laughs> that was like, that was yeah. a lot and that wasn't sure. even articles, you know, then when I started articles, obviously I was, you know, studying for board and, and all of that, but mm -hmm. um, I, I was, it's exhausting. You know, you start articles, it's a new job. You don't know how to use a photocopy machine. Even, you know, you may like, however, you have a degree, but you don't know how to use a photocopy machine. Yeah. <laughs> These things are stressful. Yeah, that's what happens. You know, yeah. These things are stressful. Mm -hmm. And your audit manager mm -hmm. is like, cast this, you know, cast this account, mm -hmm. cast this. And if you're like, what does cost mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, like, how do I use mm -hmm. Excel? Um, mm. And that's mentally exhausting. So I also say to students, like, definitely don't do your degree full time and uh -huh. then start CTA and articles at the same time because, mm. you know, it, you do not understand how exhausting it is to work a full day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then study CTA on top of it. So you just, you know, you're just absolutely throwing yourself on the deep end mm. twice. And from a company's perspective, and, you know, you can speak a little bit more from this um, <clears throat> on, on your side of the table. I think it's mm. also like you say, they, there's busy periods, but when a company employs you to do a job, uh -huh. your responsibility is to do the job. So there's, yes. there's this tension between my, you know, the firm said that they were going to care about my studying, you know, and they mm -hmm. said they're going to support me with my studying. But on the other mm -hmm. side, the job that you were hired to do needs to be done. And if there's yeah. queries mm -hmm. and you did the job wrong or something needs to change or whatever, the firm can't go back to the client and go, you know, we can't meet the deadline because my students, you know, my clock is on writing. <laughs> you know, like, oh, wow, yes. You know, yes. and then all yes. the students on study leave at the same time. So, uh -huh. you know, the audit <laughs> clocks go from 10 to 3. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, uh -huh. so I think, you know, keeping that stuff in mind as well, um, it places an unnecessary tension on the relationship where mm. the clocks are like, my audit manager doesn't care mm. about me and the audit manager is like, I do care, but I can't do your job for you because you're going on studying mm. tomorrow. And 
I need your mental energy here on the job. You know, as a CTA mm-hmm. student, let's be like, you're obsessing about CTA. If you're not studying CTA, you're worrying about failing CTA and worrying about what other people are doing with CTA. Where is the mental space for that to do your job? Mm-hmm. Properly, you know, to really focus on, like, uh-huh. on your actual mm-hmm. job. Um, <clears throat> so I'm glad that that's, again, you know, we don't, not, you know, not everybody has, has the choice and, and the opportunity or whatever the case is, but I think it's important to take these things into consideration is like... Oh, absolutely, Yvonne, and I'm glad you've touched on this. Um, especially in, in a sense that, like you say, a perception from a trainee would be, yeah. you know, <clears throat> we don't care and whatnot. Yes. 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 There are study leaves that the firms give, right? And, um, and it's limited. <laughs> yeah. Although you are enrolled for the entire year, yeah. you can be off for the entire year. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's yeah. that. That's yeah. number one. Number two as well is that when you signed that contract, you agreed to deliver, right? Exactly. And yeah. what happens is, you know, the minute your focus is split. Yes, 100%. Oftentimes, mm. it's difficult to deliver everything in quality. Yeah. Be it dedication to your studies or yeah. the work itself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So what we tend to find with our candidates who are currently studying is that they struggle to strike the balance. Right. If the balance can ever be reached yeah. at all, Very that's another one. thing, right? Very tough one. And uh, we are your employer, your primary employer, yeah. you know, and we want you to succeed, right? Yeah. And the truth of the matter is, if you are expected to, before the lockdown and whatnot, we had working hours, isn't it? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Back in the old days. Yeah. Exactly, to be A to five, right? Yeah. At that time, you give it to us. Yeah. The rest of it, it should come from you and yeah. you would say how you want to manage it. Yeah. And what we tend to do as well as a firm to show support is that we can bring in someone like Yvonne during mm. our working time. Yeah. And that's, that's our demonstration to yeah. teach our students. Yeah. And we do those things, yeah. we really do. But yeah. we are running a business. And I said to you as well, it's, we have to work, you, you have to do this. Yeah. If I am not working, I can invoice my clients. Yeah. If I can invoice my clients, I can pay it's the no employees. firm, yeah. And that's what it is. And, and I think that's what everyone needs to understand to say, when we go and audit and do whatever and we take you with us to, our engage, to your engagement, um, we have to deliver. There's a service yeah. that yeah. we have to deliver on yeah. And we get paid for that service. If yeah. we don't, we're not going to get paid. Right. Yeah. How yeah. would you feel as well, you being given money for nothing that you've ever done? Yeah. And there was a friend of mine during this lockdown who said it, and they say it takes a level of maturity. Mm. And uh, I think, you know, everyone should reflect on what we're saying, especially now. And this friend was saying the following to me. They work for a particular organization when the lockdown was introduced, they had no means to work remotely. Right. They couldn't work remotely. Yeah. So all they did was to go on about their life as if it's a holiday, right? Yeah. We yeah. need the law around that and you say it can eat up on your annual leave and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Because it's not your own doing. Yeah. My friend said something interesting to me uh, on payday and said he doesn't feel right Taking getting money. paid knowing that he didn't do any work That's and most people right now depending on your level of maturity you might be listening to this and thinking ah whatever whatever i'll friend. take it <laughs> but that's the truth yeah we can't take from what we didn't get yeah we cannot yeah we cannot and yeah. that's basic principles of ethics yeah. isn't it right? yeah when true. we start thinking about corruption and all these things it starts with all Very these things points. that we are not point. thinking about yeah you know you say it didn't feel right it was not his doing but the same way as we say about this scenario, how do you feel, right? Mm-hmm. Not taking your annual leave, not, but not delivering yeah. in any form, be it yeah. in time or product or whatever. And yeah. you're comfortable that you get paid your yeah. salary. Yeah, it's true. You know? and, it's a very good point. One, yeah, that's how one should also think about yeah. it. In yeah. this matter. It's, I think it's no such matter. a, no, I think it's such a, it's such a good way of putting it is, um, like you said, like, are you taking something for nothing? And it, 
you don't necessarily see that happening or it's not like you're staying at home or you're bunking work or whatever, but when your mental energy and your focus is on one thing um, and it's, it's not on something else and auditing is, you know, is very much a team effort as well, which means if your focus is on your studying and not where it should be and you're not bringing your best, someone else in the team has to carry you. You know, someone else on the team mm. has to yes. do what you're mm. supposed to yes. be doing yes. or has to run behind you and go like, where is this? Mm. What's happening? Um, and let's be honest, auditing deadlines are never friendly. You know, oh, <laughs> you know they're, they're never right. like, yeah, right. we can do that. It's not <laughs> yeah. fine. Be mm. You know, never, never works out that way. Um, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so that's never going to happen. But uh, your responsibility when you take a job and you take a salary is mm. to deliver and be there mentally, be there, you know, and understand mm. from the business's perspective that you represent the business. When you go to the client, they don't see you as a person, they see the company, they see the firm. Mm. You know, they're not mm. seeing you, they're seeing you as a representation of the firm, which means you need to present well, and you can't be sitting there grumbling about how you should be on study leave, and, 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 and. So if you can avoid that situation, and honestly, you know, in a lot of cases, students say to me, but if yeah. I really have to work and I kind of go, mm. go do waitering if you have to during mm. your studying, you mm. know, if you're, mm. if you're going to be studying, go do something that's not articles, mm. quite frankly, you know, where you can Time. pitch up and you can do your job and it's not massively mentally stressful. You can still, mm. you can work within those hours and go, okay, that's it. I'm done. And you can, mm. you, know, you can leave and you go and focus. If it's just about the money, don't start your articles. Yeah. In terms of the, dis the discussion around it would mm -hmm. be better to be working and applying and studying the skills at the same time. Like you should be working with auditing <laughs> yeah. while you're studying auditing, like especially auditing because, you know. Yeah. How do you feel about that discussion? Yeah. And yeah. And, and I just wanted to conclude that previous part by yeah. saying no firm wants their employees not to succeed in the academics. 100%. Because... <laughs> when you succeed, it improves on our quality because it means you're technically competent and right. all of that we deliver quality work. Yes. So we'll do anything to support you. And then 100%. to your question now, yes. and to that point as well, is that people say, the only way you can understand auditing is <laughs> you to, have do to it. work. Yeah. No, I didn't work yep. and I passed my CTA. <laughs> and many others, the Unreal, right. and many others never had done it. And probably we passed it and it never made sense. And it made sense when we started working. Yes, there is that element. What I've seen, though, mm -hmm. is that when the candidates come into the firm and they are studying, right? Yeah. They see everything in silos. Exactly what we're talking about now. Yeah. To say someone needs to be freed up to go and study and whatnot, right? On the job in itself, if one would see it as study, yeah. If I say, okay, we're doing PPE, let's go to I-16. And then now you review the client's accounting policy referring to the standards. That is study. Yeah. You've just done your Finnec PPE already there. Yeah. Now you're going to come, let's audit it. Right? And now you go and do the procedures and you don't think it's something standalone. Mm. And the difference is then the students are finding too difficult to match the two. That frustration in itself Mentally, it will affect you. Mm. It will affect your, your, your performance on both ends. It mm. will. Mm. And, and that's that. It's that, yes, you can benefit. There are those who can benefit mm. from working, right? Mm. But no, they mm. aren't. And why? Because I am going to study and then I'm yeah. going to work. Yeah. Everything is seen, yeah. is seen in isolation. Yeah. One never sees it as There's letting. A in, yeah. it's, it's a whole. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and if one recognizes that, then one would realize, actually, I don't need so much of the study time that I still think I need five hours to do this and whatnot. Yes, maybe the jobs that you work with are not mm. necessarily aligned with how your tests are going to be written. Right. I get yeah. that, right? Cool. But ultimately, for the exam that you're going to write, learning is learning. Yeah. And if one had seen that that way, you yeah. know, and I'm, I'm actually now interested in actually hearing from my candidates who have been successful. Mm. And especially after they have failed for mm. a number of times, mm. you say, what, what changed? What changed? What shifted? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And, and over and above being committed and studying and yeah. whatnot, yeah. I can guarantee almost that most of them would say, 
I started realizing that the mm. audit programming efforts, it's actually what we're doing. I started realizing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, I do, so yeah. when you start seeing that together, but our students are battling with it. Yes, they I agree. They match the two. And hence I say, even with me, coming from uh, academia into corporate, mm. I didn't just... <laughs> no, no. On. It took no. time. It's a How skill. much more yeah. Yeah, yeah. someone who doesn't even have work experience. Right. See, one of the things I struggle with, and again, especially with auditing, is that if you start doing auditing and, and, and anything, quite frankly, if you start doing something and you're doing it on the job, it's mm -hmm. very unlikely that the starting point is going to be someone explaining to you why you're doing this and what it's for and what the goal is, you know? And so what I generally find is my students, they start their auditing experience with this is how to, you know, this is how to do this. This is how to do this. This is how to oh, do this. So ah, they're like very, wow. you know, list and procedure based. And especially, mm. you know, a lot of, most of the audit programs are on computers, mm. you know, most of the case where yes, or they whatever. developed already. So it's <laughs> tick, 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 you know, it's click, click, click. There's a risk and mm. you, you know, if it's a, if it is a risk, you click the box. <laughs> Cause you want efficiency. We don't want you which to is, start developing right. audit programs from scratch. Which yeah. is fine. But the problem <laughs> I find then is that the guys come in and they say, oh, well, I'm in my second year of articles. So therefore I don't have to study auditing because I do it every day. And I'm like, stop the button. Come back, come back. <laughs> no, 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 no. First yeah. of all, you don't write that stuff out the same way. You know, you don't write those sentences uh, out the way that they expected an exam. So you don't actually write that out. One. And two, it is very unlikely as you're going through the audit process that someone is teaching you and talking to you about how what you're doing today affects the audit objective. You know, like mm -hmm. you may have on the job training, but you don't have a teacher mm. telling you, so this is the audit opinion and, you know, it needs to be appropriate. Da, 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 and this is how what you're doing, you know, you're mm. costing the list of invoices. This is how it affects the audit. Mm. It's just like, mm. do this. Yeah. So the problem mm. then is because there's an assumption, there becomes mm. a complacency. Like there's an assumption that I don't have to study this stuff because I do it every day. <laughs> so I know it. Mm -hmm. And then you don't actually put the effort in to understand it. And some mm -hmm. like around the end of third year, beginning of CPA, it catches up with you. And you're like, now nah, I'm too <laughs> far behind and it's not making sense, even though I'm doing it every day, but I've yeah. got a gap. And in a lot of cases, uh -huh. I have to take the students back. You know, and I, okay, mm -hmm. you know, you need to go back to yeah. the beginning, um, ditch the terminology because you're used to using it like a nursery rhyme. You know, like, <laughs> we're like, we say the words, this is what audit risk is, this is what detection risk is, but uh, we don't actually really understand it because we just- What it means, yeah. Used it so many times, like you need to go backwards mm. to go forwards. So I, I generally find, whereas the guys that aren't doing articles have this fear, like, I don't know what this is, so I have to pay attention. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, wow, yeah. Think yeah. About it and like, okay, you tell me to do that. I must mm. on you auditing all the time and go to work. I've got four months to study it. Mm. So I, honestly, my experience is that guys that are doing articles are more likely to fail auditing. Mm. Um, yeah. So, um, one of the things that... Uh, we, we, we know is that as a CTA student, there is probably um, no one out there who feels more stupid on a daily basis than a CTA student. <laughs> there is yes. something very special about CTA that almost feels like it is designed to make you feel completely stupid every day. And while your family mm. is looking at the pile of books that you're studying and going, wow, you must be so smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, little do they know. Little do you know you're like please don't. You're getting thirty wow. percent for your test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chelby. Ah, we but, all be okay. there. So for the <laughs> students out there that are going, this is never gonna happen. Uh, people, because it's easy to look at, you know, people like you and I who passed and are finished. It's mm. easy for students to look at us and go, oh well, they. Well, obviously never stupid you know they were they must have been really smart and i mean you got really good marks and stuff as well so cool mm. and i passed stuff first time so it seems like mm. oh, everything was easy mm. um so can you give those students out there that are going well nobody and if anybody knew how really stupid i was they would deregister me today mm. <laughs> what can yeah. you say to them um sure it's, um, yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's an interesting one because one is also thinking about how the world is also changing, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, 
in all of that, I think what's very important and what we'll get one through is uh, your commitment, mm. right? To anything that you do, right? Um, look at your commitment, really look at it and mm. say, why do you really, and I like how you just spoken about the why instead of the how mm. in your comments now, which is very important, right? Why are you even studying this? Why do you even want to become a chartered accountant? Let's, let's understand the root cause and mm. find out where your interest really lies and whatnot. Because there will be days um, during your studies where things don't go as you, know, you want them to go. Yeah. A test that you thought you had studied for comes back and it's a shocker. I've been through that as well. Yeah, we all have, and then you yeah. wonder and you start questioning if you yeah. really should. In that moment, what would carry you through is actually your, the spark, the fire, that is inside of you. Mm. That is what's going to take you through and realize that, you know, you can still go ahead. You can still, yeah. you know, do it again and push forward and all of that. So it is important to understand why have you chosen this career to mm. begin? Mm. Why have you? We all have different reasons, right? Yeah. No reason I think is better than the other, right? But you need to understand it for, for yourself, yourself right. and what it means to you and mm. how badly you want it. Yeah. Just a little bit for me is that when I was doing my CTN sponsored by Tutuka Bessery Fund, is that if I had not passed my CTA, there was no way KPMG was going to take me. Right. If KPMG doesn't take me, that yeah. means I don't have a job. Yeah. Again, I don't have another funding to repeat yeah. there. Yeah. Or that means I don't have anything, really. Yeah. So I wanted it so badly. Yeah. Yeah. So badly to get it right. No, mm. it wasn't that easy. Um, mm. It wasn't at all. It wasn't. But I kept on yeah. and kept on. So I remained dedicated. I worked hard. <laughs> there is no substitute. No. Nope. Nope. There isn't. No. Nope. You have to put in the time. Yeah. You can't just wake up and it has to be consistent. That's true. It, it doesn't just happen, you know. Two weeks before the test, yeah. Exactly. It has to yeah. be consistent. Yeah. Even after writing a test, you take two days break, whatever, and then you go again. You get back. You yeah. know? So yeah. you get back into it. You had, yeah. And that's what I did. Yeah. And um, I think my focus and my determination, and I realized what was stake for me, yeah. right, um, pushed me forward. Yeah. So you need to find that motivation inside of you. Yeah. I like understand. the fact that you question the commitment. And I think, um, mm. like you say, you, you, you really have to question the commitment because it's, it's not about, uh, and I think it's, it's not about, oh, I'm really committed to wanting to be a CA because that's an easy thing to say. Like yeah. many people want to be CAs. It's a good, you know, it's a good profession. It's a, da, da, da. no, no, no. Mm. Commitment is about what are you prepared to do today? Like, what are you prepared to sacrifice today? Like uh -huh. if you want something badly enough, then you will sacrifice the time, the snoozing, <laughs> yes. you know, yes. the, mm. the money, the whatever. Like, so mm. I, I really like that. Like you really need to analyze genuinely your commitment. Like don't come and tell me, oh, I want to be a CA more than anything. So what did you mm -hmm. sacrifice today? Yes. Oh no, yeah. it's too hard you to pick up the book. so well, Yvonne, you know? you're right. Yeah. It's and exactly I'm like, that. Today, you sacrifice today. Mm. You know, if you have to feel stupid every day and that every day you mm. just chug away at it. And for, for me, mm. and again, you know, you, you know just as much as me, the, the question is, it's, it's, it's about doing the questions, people. It's about <laughs> failing those questions. Yes. It's about yes. failing those yes. questions. So, you know, when yes. people are That's like, I want this in. more than anything, I'm like, how many questions have you done? No, I'm not doing no. questions yet. Then you don't want it badly enough. <laughs> Because if you want it, you will <laughs> fail those questions. <laughs> that is your commitment. And like, keep on and, and keep, keep on, on and, and keep face on. the fear. Yeah. Like be brave. Mm. You know, bravery is what we do in spite of the fear, not with yes. fear. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Face yes. the fears. Like the fear, I'm gonna fail uh -huh. the question. What does this mean? It doesn't mean anything. It means that you did the question. Like get on it. Yeah. So I, I really like it. Like genuinely, mm. not an easy commitment. You yeah, know, not an easy like, oh, but you know, so I want to be a CA because I want to do well. That's fantastic. Like, what are you prepared yeah, to Yeah, well done. Yeah. But yes, why? Yeah. That's, it's, a good, it's, a, mm. it's a good goal. Like, it's a good commitment. Yeah. To goal. But mm. commitment is what you do every day, even when you don't feel like it. Feel like it. Like, <laughs> like, don't want it. Like this you know, morning, it was not easy to wake up. <laughs> right? 
and it's cold, he right? Like, anyway. yeah. It's cold. Yeah, yeah. But, no, but I had client commitments as early as eight o'clock. Someone had to attend to it. Yeah? But at least you didn't have to sit in traffic to do oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so <clears throat> do you have any last words for all the students out there um, before before I let you go? So I obviously wish you all the very best um, out of life. Um, being a CA is the greatest thing. Uh, I have achieved and being mm. able to sit in areas that ordinarily I would not have, have yeah. been yeah. if I had not been a CA, right? The truth of the matter is that not everyone is going to be a CA. That's the truth of it. Yep. And in that as well is that there are a variety of um, roles and within finance in and itself, opportunities, right? Yeah. And yeah. opportunities. So studying what you're studying right now, it's a great thing. Don't let go of it. Just push forward. And you can diversify from there. Yeah. And it's okay. Yeah. It really is, yeah. right? Okay. All the skills are needed. We do need internal auditors, right? Yeah. We do need financial management. We do need cost analysis. We yeah. need all of the skills in finance and it can be broad. Yes, as a CA, you can specialize in those, right? Mm. If you know what you're good at, stay at it and just go for it and just do it. Yeah. Do it. But you have to know why you're doing it as well. Yeah. And so when are you going to start uh, and carry on studying marketing then? <laughs> <laughs> I should. I when should. Are you going? I Come should. On. I, I promise you. I hey? should. I should. You should. Hey, no, really. it, 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 well, because, oh. you know, interestingly, you know, with, with all yeah. the stuff that we're doing and, and you know, the stuff that I'm doing, yeah. um, marketing, I spend more time learning about uh -huh. marketing than I do any of uh -huh. my content stuff because oh, wow. you're an online oh, wow. business. That's all you've got. Yeah. You know, I don't have banners, and, you know, pamphlets yes. and people's windscreens. It's <laughs> online marketing. It's marketing. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. spend much more of my time learning marketing, web skills, da da da, da. Uh, And it's uh -huh. fascinating. So I think... Uh, that's, that's, there's a future in there, I promise you. It is, it, I tell you. There's a great like, future. And let's be honest. And how it's also evolving, like you yes. say. Yes. From, you know, paper, print, whatnot, yeah. to now being digital. That's fin and that's, that's a growing, that's a growing area. It really and is. And then you, anyone is ignoring it to their own parents. Absolutely. And you, I mean, as a professional, you have to learn to market your own skills, right? So yes. if you oh, yes. open your own audit firm mm. or accounting firm or consulting, mm. how are you going to find clients? You're going to profile on LinkedIn, you're going to create a little yeah. website and then yeah. you know, and you're going to like... Yeah, start selling the brand. Start selling the brand, start creating then, the brand. Yeah. So don't put those half naked photos up on Facebook because people are going to see it 10 years later. I know, 10 years down the line. Like, oh. Like, oh, that's my account. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. My twin brother who moved overseas. <laughs> We don't speak about him anymore. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we told him about his photos when he was posting them. <laughs> so you funny. see, but I no. tell you, I tell you. But, but this, I think this is next time yeah. we chat. Let's talk about your marketing journey. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. Thank you so so much for your time. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that we uh, are going to have. I really hope that we have more chats in the future. And, yes, I'd um, love as, that. We can schedule that. I would yes. love to. And I think as yeah. um, students watch it, you know, it would be great if they can send, you know, comment Topics, like what they'd but, like uh, yeah, to discuss, both, you know, education-wise and people looking to get into education as a profession because, yeah, yeah. you know, someone's, the idea that you can only, you know, only people who can't do stuff teach it is like ridiculous. That's like so. Ah, oh, don't like that phrase. Hate it. Hate it. Sorry. Ah, don't. Um, so yeah, like if, if people are looking and they're like, you know, more about you, more about your journey, mm -hmm. uh, more about stuff that you can help them with or discuss or whatever, they can put them in the comments and we can, we can reconvene and start again. And uh, excellent. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Really enjoyed oh, such this. A pleasure, man. Such All right. Pleasure. Cool. Cheers.